Hey YouTubers, uh, this is just a short video, sort of an unboxing, uh, if you will, for the Zeiss Cinemizer uh, goggles for my fan DJI, DJI uh, Phantom Vision 2. Um, I wanted, I got mine about a month ago and sort of went into it heavy, uh, decided I wanted to get some goggles and I was looking around and from what I gather, the Fat Shark seem to be the standard, but unfortunately, the current versions of the Fat Shark won't interface, at least to my knowledge, not easily, to the uh, DJI Phantom Vision, uh, at least the camera portion or the app. Uh, I understand there's going to be a Dominator HD that has an HDMI input, which will then be able to be used, but at this time it's not released, and I think it's like April that it's coming out. Uh, where the Cinemizers already have that ability, so that's why I went with them. Uh, they're a little bit pricier than um, the Fat Sharks supposedly are going to be. Um, I believe the Fat Sharks are going to be like $550. These are about $740. So anyway, I've unboxed it, and I want to apologize for the black nitro gloves. My hands are pretty beat up, and I figured it was better for you to look at the black gloves than my nasty beat up hands. So. Going through what I've pulled out of the box so far, they give you some uh, little wipes for the glasses here, um, whether you need them or not. Probably just anything more. There's lens wipes, so I imagine any lens wipe would work. Uh, comes with a USB cable for charging. Um, of course, those are a dime a dozen for most people anyway. Uh, uses the micro uh, uh, USB on the other end. Um, of course, comes with an AV cable, should you want to use that. Um, the other cable it comes with, and this is the one that I will be using, uh, it gets, and I'll show you where it gets plugged into, but this is for the HDMI um, in, uh, input for the goggles themselves. Comes with a couple different nose clips. Um, when I show you the goggles, the nose clips can be adjusted, so if you have a either a big honker or a small honker or they're fitting uncomfortable, you can adjust them two different ways uh, using these clips. Um, comes with some extra, whoop, let me go to this first. Comes with the, uh, what I call earbuds, um, which I'm not going to install. And they get right installed right into the glasses and there's a little clip in there for them to be held so that you don't lose them. Um, but if anyone, if you own one of the Phantom Visions, you'll know it doesn't have audio, so I'm not even going to use that portion. Though the glasses are meant to be used with, uh, you can use them with an Xbox, gaming controllers, things like that. So, um, but again, with my camera, I have no audio, and I really don't think I'd ever want to capture any audio, because all you're going to hear is the DG, the Phantom itself. Comes with a couple extra covers for the ear earbuds, uh, depending on the size of your ears um, that you can use. Uh, of course, you got the manual, uh, several different languages, but there's only a couple pages that actually are in English, so it's very simple to set up and very simple to use. And this is the uh, adapter, I guess you want to call, that uh, when I show you the other part that gets clipped into. This is the uh, battery portion that will get plugged into this like so. And then, of course, my... HDMI cable will get plugged in over here, clip it in, uh, and I know it's very hard to see, and I'll try to get up here, but you have a couple, you have a USB input, you have an AVN, you have a um, little uh, scroll wheel for the OSD when you want to make changes on this for the setup, and then um, actually have power on over here. And on the back, you also have an output for your headset, and then a reset button. So, from there, we go to the glasses themselves. Sort of, I look at these, I always think of uh, Stevie Wonder for some reason. Don't ask me why, I'm not trying to make fun of the guy, but that's just what I think about when I see them. Um, they look like they're pretty well made. Um, they're rather light. Uh, there is the nose piece I told you about. Um, I haven't adjusted mine. Mine seems to uh, fit fine. But I did order, which it won't be here till tomorrow, is a uh, clip that goes around here, sort of a shield for your eyes. And it sort of shields the sun from coming down here. And it just clips into place, but I haven't got it. It should be here tomorrow. I can take a photo of it. But if you go to any site that sells uh, the Zeiss Cinemizers, you'll see that they have an option for that too. Um, again, this is uh, for your, if you can see these, uh, right here, this is where your earbuds would go into, 
and then they get plugged into uh, the sides right over here. So, and they just stay in there permanently if you want them in there, or you can unplug them and not even use them. Uh, depending on where your ears are on your head, you can adjust this um, for your difference of the, you know how far your ears are, how big your head is, um, which is sort of nice. They're they're adjustable. Um, I said all in all, they're uh, pretty nice. If you are going to use the iPad or the iPad Mini, which is what I'm going to use, um, you're going to need the DVI uh, or correction, the digital adapter. Uh, in my case, I'm using the lightning adapter because I've got an uh, iPad mini, the newer style, though they do make a 30 pin for the older iPads for digital output. Uh, and there's actually an analog output, but you want to get the digital output. Uh, the only thing it doesn't come with, which is not a big deal because I've had several of them laying around the house, and that is it doesn't come with an additional HDMI cable that will get plugged in from this here to this here. Uh, but again, I had several of them laying around the house. It's not a big deal. But if you do purchase these, you realize you will have to get another cable. Um, the last thing it comes with is it comes with a nice little carrying case um, for your gl glasses that you can store everything in. It's not crush resistant, though it is crush resistant, but it is pretty sturdy. And if you had your goggles packed in there and zipped up and they should tumble around in the car, I think you'd be okay, or even drop them on the ground. I wouldn't recommend it, but there is some protection there. Um, pretty nice. I've already done a firmware upgrade. I think mine came with 1.1.6 and there's 1.1.8. The uh, site did not say what changes they made. I couldn't find a history for it, so I'm not really sure. The firmware upgrade took about maybe, I don't know, three minutes to do. Very simple. Hook up your USB uh, to your computer, run the little uh, executable, and it drives you right through the update. doesn't take very long. Very simple to do. Um, the OSD uh, on here allows you to change certain things like the contrast. If you're using um, for a gaming console and got 3D, you can use it for 3D. Um, again, my, I'm not going to be doing that here, and I'll, I'm too old to be playing games on the Xbox, so it'll be strictly for my Phantom, or if I ever get another quadcopter or something, I'll end up probably using the same thing. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to fire up my um, Vision, the camera, and the iPad app, and sort of take uh, try to get some pictures of it with the iPad app on the goggles though I've tried it earlier and I had a real hard time getting it to focus but let's see if I can do a little better shot this time so I'll be back in a second all right so I've got the transmitter fired up um, excuse me, I'm doing some modifications like a lot of people I'm um, just waiting for my antennas to come in um, got the transmitter fired up and the uh, phantom and I got the app up and running and I'm not sure I'll be able to get a good connection here um, or a good picture. But let's see here. Well, for what you can see, it, it's actually there. Uh, and it is in focus. It's obviously not on here. But they, uh, they don't look too bad. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is there's actually two adjustments. You see the little knobs off to the right and left of each lens. That's for the um, uh, focus for each eye individually. Um, and I said it goes from a range of, uh, I think, uh, minus 2 to 5. I'd have to double check again. I can't hardly read it. But like I said it works very good um, with the adapter. Of course, I've got the uh, digital adapter plugged in. And then I've got the... Uh, DVI or correction HDMI cable plugged in going all the way to the adapter here and then inside to the uh, battery or the actual unit itself. But like I said, it was um, a good little unit, I think. Um, I really like them so far. Unfortunately, where I'm at, the weather is just really crappy. Uh, one day it's snowing, one day it's raining, one day it's windy uh, or it's freezing cold. So I'm hoping that the weather will get better, but gives me time because I've actually got a fly trex coming for my Phantom. I've got some antennas coming to modify the repeater, get a little more range out of it, and uh, play around. Anyway, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them. Um, I am, I'm usually on the uh, phantompilots.com, checking out all the uh, messages there. It's a good source of information. 
So stop on by if you own a DJI Phantom. A lot of, like I said, a lot of good people out there, a lot of helpful folks. So anyway, have any questions, just leave me a comment and we'll try to answer them.